in this video we will talk about why do we call the q the set of rational numbers is dense in r see the density of q in r actually means that r is a, a closure of q in in the sense that r is a set of all limits of rational numbers so what happens that a limit of sequences of rational number would move to r so that's what it essentially means based on archimedean property and on completeness property we can prove it also so let me just state the density theorem the density theorem says that if x is less than y okay x and y are real numbers then there exists r belonging to the set of rationals such that x such that r is between x and y so what do we exactly mean between any two real number there exists a rational number that's what we are trying to say between any two real numbers there exist rational numbers let's try to prove it let us try to prove it so assume assume without loss of generality without loss of generality assume that x is greater than 0 and as y is greater than x y minus x will also be greater than 0 okay so x is greater than 0 y minus x is greater than 0 these two things together by Archimedean property Archimedean property what do we have what do we have there exists natural number n such that 1 by n lies between 0 and y minus x okay 0 and y minus x what does this give us this gives us this implies that say taking multiplying throughout by n what do we get we get that ny minus nx is greater than 0 is greater than 1 sorry because you will have a 1 okay is greater than 1 right so it's greater than 1 so what does this mean this implies that nx plus 1 will be greater than or less than the symbol will change when I take n by the other side the symbol will change it's less than ny so that's a point to remember so nx plus 1 is less than ny but for nx for nx there would exist some m such that nx is between m and n plus 1 okay so for nx for nx there exists an m such that nx nx is some real number right so m is some natural number so nx will lie between these two so double star so from first inequality what do we have we have that from first inequality we have mx nx or m is first part of this inequality says m is less than or e uh, equal to nx and the second part says that from here we can deduce that m plus 1 is less than or equal to nx plus 1 just 
adding one on both the sides adding one on both the sides that that is something that I can deduce so this is my triple star okay and now just look at what all we have we have nx plus 1 is less than ny we have uh, m is less than or equal to nx which is less than or e less than uh, m plus 1 and we have that m plus 1 is less than or equal to nx plus 1 okay so from all these three from star double star and triple star okay what do we have we get that nx is less than what what was the first thing that we had it was from here we have nx is less than this which in turn is less than or equal to nx plus 1 and nx plus 1 is actually less than n y so what do we have so we have so n x is less than m plus 1 which is less than n y which implies that x is less than m plus 1 by n x is less than m plus 1 by n which is less than y now m plus 1 by n essentially will be a rational number so what do we have as a result so indeed what we have therefore therefore we have between the real numbers the real numbers x and y we do have we do have found the rational number rational number m plus 1 by n okay which is a rational number so we have found rational number between any two arbitrary real numbers.